द मेनी फेसिस ऑफ सेकेंडरी एंगल क्लोजर ग्लॉकोमा अ प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच टू अनवेल सेकेंडरी एंगल क्लोजर ग्लॉकोमास कैन बी चैलेंजिंग इवन टू सीजन ग्लॉकोमा एक्सपर्ट्स मोर ऑफन मल्टीपल मैकेनिजम्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन एंगल क्लोजर विच कैन बी पिकडअप बाई अ डीटेल्ड हिस्ट्री गोनियोस्कोपी ए एस ओ सी टी एंड यू बी एम इमेजिंग वी एम टू सिंप्लीफाई द सेकेंडरी एंगल क्लोजर बाई दिस क्लासिफिकेशन टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर वी विल प्रेजेंट अ सीरीज ऑफ केस सिनारियोज एंड डिस्क्राइब हाउ वी डायग्नोज एंड ट्रीटेड एंगल क्लोजर इन दैन एब्जुल्यूट प्यूपलरी ब्लॉक मे रिजल्ट फ्रॉम फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पोस्टीरियर साइनिकिय दिस पेशेंट हैड डेवलप्ड आयरिस बॉम्बे पोस्ट कैट्रैक्स सर्जरी ड्यू टू परसिस्टेंट इन्फ्लमेशन लेजर आयरोडोटमी वॉज डन एंड एंटीरियर चेंबर डीपेंड इमीडिएटली हाउएवर लेजर पी आई मे नॉट बी हेल्पफुल इन आईज विथ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज पोस्टीरियर साइनिकिय विथ अ फ्लैट ए सी एज इन क्रॉनिक यूवीआईटिस This is a two week post op image of a patient who had iris claw IOL implantation. Laser PI was done the same day. Note the immediate deepening of AC and a patent PI. Hence it is better to do surgical PI in these patients. This patient was referred to rule of malignant glaucoma. UBM showed an FM bridging the pupillary margin. Note the position of IOL reflex. Patient was treated with intense steroids and laser PI. AC deepened post laser PI. This patient was referred one week post PKP with high IOP and a flat anterior chamber to rule out malignant glaucoma. Note the position of the IOL reflex and a deep posterior chamber. The glaucoma here is because of extensive synechial angle closure as evidenced by ASOCT in malignant glaucoma one can expect forward movement of the entire lens iris diaphragm with uniformly shallow ac this patient developed shallow ac on pod1 after iris claw iol with a patent surgical pi a classic presentation of malignant glaucoma patient was started on atropin eye drops along with post op steroids 3 days later ac deepened undiagnosed silicon oil induced angle closure can lead to corneal decompensation as shown in these images this image shows pupillary block by silicon oil post pi silicon oil bubble retracted and ac deepened Next is a patient who had both silicon oil induced pupillary block and silicon oil overfill in the AC. Overfill can be diagnosed by a shiny reflex over the iris as in this patient. We did a partial SOR with AC reformation and an inferior surgical PI. Inferior surgical iridectomy is helpful to prevent these problems especially when silicon oil is done in apex and pseudofix disorders involving the position and size of the lens can also result in pupillary block and secondary angle closure glaucoma this is a case of phacomorphic glaucoma asoct shows fluid filled cleft in cataractus lens indicating a high intralenticular pressure IOL master also shows a very shallow AC depth and lens thickness. This is the biometry of a nanophthalmic patient who underwent cataract surgery with IOL implantation. As seen here, the anterior chamber depth is shallow even after cataract surgery. UBM also points the same with a persistent angle closure. The weak and abnormally elongated zonules in microspherophakia cause an anterior movement of the lens leading to recurrent angle closure attacks. Laser PI helps in preventing the attacks. This young male with high myopia presented with acute angle closure in both eyes. UBM shows a small spherophakic lens and elongated zonules. 
UBM is helpful to identify the cause of IOP spikes post cataract surgery. This image depicts the IOL position where the haptics are seen in the sulcus causing secondary angle closure with pus. The slit lamp examination shows a classic transillumination defect along with the contour of the IOL, especially at the IOL haptics. Imaging techniques play a significant role to guide postoperative management in eyes post refractive surgeries. This patient with high myopia underwent ICL. A week later, she presented with shallow AC and high IOP. Gonioscopy showed high ICL rise. The angle closure here is not because of pupillary block but because of high ICL vault of 1400 microns. Laser PI may not be beneficial in these cases and ICL exchange has to be considered. Eye syndromes are one of the notorious causes for refractory angle closure glaucomas. The abnormal endothelial cells in these eyes eventually form a membrane, the contraction of which leads to high pass. NVG is characterized by a fibrovascular membrane that gradually causes angle closure. These images represent extreme forms of ectropion UVA. These glaucomas are usually refractory, requiring multiple surgical interventions for IOP control. This patient was referred to us one month after an uneventful cataract surgery for iris bulge. UBM revealed multiple small to medium sized ciliary body cysts and an IOL in the bag. Laser PI can be done prophylactically in fake patients with occludable angles due to ciliary body cysts. Drug induced angle closures should be suspected in cases with bilateral acute angle closure. PI is not needed in such cases as angle closure here is because of suprachoroidal effusion. The offending drug has to be stopped. Somering's ring is a complication encountered frequently after congenital cataract surgery due to proliferation of lens epithelial cells. This aphakic young male was referred to rule out Iris Bombay. UBM showed extensive Somering's ring induced secondary angle closure with high pass more in the left eye. Laser PI has a limited role in these eyes as there is no pupillary block here. Surgical PI with Somering's ring extraction can be done in refractory cases. This is POD1 picture of a patient who had severe positive pressure with pain on table and IOL implantation was deferred. Slit lamp examination showed a uniformly shallow AC with vitreous prolapse through the PCR. B scan showed a localized aborted suprachoroidal hemorrhage. Secondary angle closure can also be precipitated by uveal effusion. This is a 16 year old VKH patient who presented with high IOP and shallow AC. B scan showed exudative RD. UBM showed extensive suprachoroidal effusion with secondary angle closure in both eyes. It is important not to treat these eyes with PI. Steroids and cyclopligics will suffice the management. To conclude, prompt identification and treatment is crucial for managing secondary angle closure glaucomas. Treatment can vary from a simple laser iridotomy to a complex glaucoma drainage device implantation. Thank you.